I'm Shamsia Hassani, a graffiti artist from Afghanistan. Yeah, I live in Afghanistan and I'm here for the Wide Open Walls Festival. I'm happy for being part of this festival uh, because uh, I could see different artists, different kind of artworks and also it's a good chance for me to introduce a new Afghanistan for people in Sacramento. Uh, I could show something positive about my country. Maybe you know that the topic about news from Afghanistan is always war and political issues. So I wanted to change the topic of news just for making art here and showing Afghanistan something good about my country. The process to bring Shamsia um, to the United States was not an easy process. Wide Open Walls really wanted to represent a lot of women and women from many different cultures and many different countries and we were able to do that. Um, we had a bit of challenges with visas. Um, we were able to put everything, everything through last minute and, and make it happen. So we're pretty happy about that. Usually I paint a woman and those are usually are with closed eyes and they have no mouth but in a state of mouth they have a music and instrument to play her voice with it. This music and instrument uh, is, uh, is something that gives her power to play her voice and to be more stronger in society. It's been great seeing her work because I think a lot of folks when they think of murals they think more of like paying an, a homage to just the city that the mural is in, but this is more than that. This is really just about a story and an experience of a community, and Shamsia is really bringing that to life. I absolutely love the location of this mural. I think it's just an outstanding addition to Old North Sacramento and Del Paso Boulevard. It's one of the very first things that you're going to see when you pull off Highway 160 and you come into this great neighborhood. I think this neighborhood in general is very historic and there's a lot of history here, but also just Sacramento in general has one of the highest concentrations of refugees and Afghan refugees being one of those populations. And I think this really just brings home the message that Sacramento is inclusive of all people and all stories. Well, in Afghanistan, uh, we have hard time because of the situation, because of the security, and because of the close-minded people. Usually, when I paint in the street, a lot of people using bad words to me. Here, I was free to, to work, like I could focus on my artwork. I was not worried about the situation. I was not worried about my environment. Yeah, it was very cool. Well, I think there's a lot of significance in having the first female Muslim street artist come to Sacramento, and for many reasons. I mean, we are doing our best to basically expose murals um, and create this incredible gallery of art outdoors, and having somebody like her represented in that gallery and in Sacramento is, is truly important. I tried a lot to change the situation with my art. I know it's difficult. I know that the power of political issues and the war is, is more than my art. But I did my best and I still I'm working for my society, for my people. I still, I'm, maybe I just try to paint something to change people's minds. I think this is just showing you that um, despite what you hear, that we really have a community that you know, delves in arts, that really takes initiative, that wants to promote positive messages and is really involved in making the world a better place.